everyone, and welcome to the show. You know who I am, and I hate all of you. Meow. Whoa, Susie, there's no need for you to be like that. Well, of course there's a need for me to be like that. So there. Meow. Hi, I'm Carrie. And I'm Humphrey. Today's Thursdays, everyone. Who wants to hear coronavirus with Stormbreaker? Humphrey! What? Dude, every time you say Stormbreaker, you break the, you break, you break the studio and the recording. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I don't mean to break the recording. Dude, stop breaking the recording. Fine. Oh, okay. We got some exciting things happening to talk about today. Yeah. Like the Super Bowl is coming up this Sunday. Yeah, but there's only one reason why we're watching the Super Bowl. Yeah, we don't care about who's playing. We just care about the commercials. Yay, commercials. Commercials are fun. Of course, commercials are fun. But uh, the thing is, what we really are working on is them commercials. Yep, because it's all about the commercials. Hopefully, we will get we'll get trailers for our favorite shows, <clears throat> such as as what Black Widow, Falcon the Winter Soldier, and possibly Loki. Loki. Loki the show? Yep. Oh, yeah. Can't believe it. Can't believe he's here. He's getting his own show on Disney+. Plus. Ugh. Hey, it's not that bad. <laughs> oh, it is that bad. It definitely is that bad. <laughs> of course. But for but before that, we shall have Wonder Vision to deal with. Yeah, <clears throat> Wonder Vision. Yep, we got. Last time we saw Wonder Vision, it was when they interrupted this show called. <clears throat> <clears throat> we interrupt this broadcast to bring you some freaking news. Ah, uh, I hate when they interrupt our show. Well, only to give us some BR. Breaking news. Yep. Breaking news. Which is all about <laughs> what really goes on behind the scenes of One Division. And how practically everybody in the show is coming up with crazy fan theories. Just like what we're doing. Yeah, and we're going to talk about some of our favorite fan theories and throw in a couple of fan theories for, of our own. Ugh. Yeah, I just hope a certain someone we know isn't involved. Even though he could be. Oh, Loki! That's right. <laughs> Why are you always interrupting? Because I can. <clears throat> Hee 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 ah! Ooh, why do you always say that? Because it's annoying. You always do that. Oh my! Are you toys seriously complaining about how great I am? Uh, not really. Oh. You toys must be ashamed of yourselves. Only because. Because what? I said. <laughs> what? What do you say? I say that if you don't watch my show, I will come after you and prank you. If you even think about messing up our studio, we're we'll, we'll, we'll going to get you. Oh, oh, but we will. I will have 
I will make sure you talk about my show. And if you don't, you're in trouble. Little camel. Man, why are you so angry with me? Because you insulted my son. <sighs> wow, that dude ain't forgot nothing. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't trust it. Okay, Loki, please, d d don't be such a meanie. Oh, I'm not going to be me. Must. <laughs> okay, okay. So, back to what you were saying. We're going to talk commercials. Because that's why we watch the Super Bowl. For the commercials. Yes. And there better be some movie trailers that we're going to be watching. Yeah. Black Widow. Falcon and Winter Soldier. Loki. And probably Venom Part 2. Let there be carnage. Yeah. And there will be carnage if you don't talk about my show. Loki. Okay. But until then, we have some important stuff to talk about. So, let's get to it. Yeah! Okay, everybody. And now, we present to you a very controversial show. Which we got on Torn Tuesday. And it's called, Sovereign Did Nothing Wrong. <laughs> Did he do anything wrong? Did he? Yeah. What made Sarai go evil? <laughs> yeah. Basically, what makes a villain? <laughs> okay. So, uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to go to our good friend Google and ask them, What made Sauron so... What made Sauron evil evil yeah oh look here we go <laughs> it says was Sauron always evil which gives me a clue on how to write my fictional bad guys what makes them evil well I was reading your story about that kid who wrote in his diaries and we figured out what made that one girl go evil she 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 was she was just so obsessed with power and stuff. I mean, well, basically, spoilers for all those who did not read my books. Yeah, if you did read her books, then uh, why are you even listening to this podcast? Because we we spoil things and we don't apologize. So, okay, so basically, her parents got divorced. Her mom get marries another gets. She gets a new stepdad She's and a new sister. She hates her stepdad because she feels like he only, he, like, he's taking her dad's place. She goes crazy. I mean, the poor guy tried to reach out to her, but she didn't want to talk to him. She didn't want nothing to do with him. Whoa. Some people are weird in the head like that. And uh, so she beats up on her stepsister because of that. Yeah. And then, of course, the stepfather disappears without a trace. Ugh. Which makes the girl even more crazy. And then now she hates her new step. And then she finds out she has a stepbrother and she hates him. And then when he, so when that stepbrother teams up the, when his friends help the other girl, the first girl, she's just, she's just, she just goes crazy. Oh. All that because of un unresolved issues. Oh. Unresolved issues? Yeah. We got to figure. Now, they say, was Siren always evil? The answer is no. Okay. Here's a lesson that we need to take away from this. No one is born evil. It's the circumstances in your life that can make you evil. Like following the wrong crowd. Or tragic circumstances in your life. Well, how about we talk Killmonger from Black Panther? 
he look how about like i'm gonna i'm gonna put a quote like this i'm gonna put a quote on instagram you're gonna post a quote on instagram which says killmongers are not born killmongers are made oh killmongers are not born but killmongers are made yes because Eric Stevens had a sad life. His mom went to jail. His dad died. He, and then I'm going to put in my own head cannon and said he had a foster family. And then, long story short, foster dad is killed on 9-11. This is my head cannon, not MCU. Take that with a grain of salt, if you will. Foster mom falls on behind on her bills nobody's reaching out to help him <sighs> and and then he watches his foster brothers and sisters suffer and then of course he's he he learns he by some chance discovers a an exotic african country called wakanda who could have solved all the problems Everybody would have gotten along. Yeah. And plus, they just let the world burn. They didn't say, what kind of didn't do nothing when slavery happened? They didn't do nothing when World War I happened. They didn't do nothing when World War II happened. Korea War. Vietnam War. War in Iraq. War in Afghanistan. They did nothing. I know. But don't worry. T'Challa actually ends up taking all the, all the leaders, all the dead leaders to task. And then when he said, you were wrong. All of you were wrong. You turned your back on the world because you were scared. You let your fear of what the, what the Europeans were doing stop you from doing the right thing. Things were, bad things were happening in Europe. They could have, they could have stopped that. But they didn't. I feel to them. Ah. Huh. Wow, all of the abuse. Uh, and we go back to the abuse. <laughs> That's right. Throw all the abuse around. So remember. So so then we find out that So after Eric finds out about when well, my foster mother breaks down, tells Eric the truth about what happened to his father? Oh, it was not pretty. And then Porsche comes to shove. We get, and we get the Black Panther story where Eric is so mad, he literally murders T'Challa. Literally. It may have been ritual combat, but Eric was willing to kill T'Challa. <sighs> willing? Yeah. Of course, which was tragic because Everett's story was meant to be Eric's story. Everett Ross was who Eric could have could have become had T'Chaka done the right thing and took Eric home. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure social services would have tracked down King T'Chaka and persuaded him to take Eric home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, had social services tracked him down. <laughs> Eric would have grown up in Wakanda. Yeah, that would have been so much better for everyone. Yeah, what a travesty. Ah. Okay, so what did we learn? Cowmongers are not born, they are made. <sighs> and Saurons are not evil in the beginning. They only become evil if they roll with somebody who is evil. Like, okay, I'm going to put a link to in the description to where I get this answer. Now, we're, so when somebody said, no, he wasn't evil at first. He was the first to turn evil. Sauron was a Maya of all. I am totally going to butcher his name. Ole the Smith. 
His name was Myron. And we did, did not, they never said that in the Samarali. Sauron, real name was Myron, the Admirable. He was very, very powerful. So, first time we see him, he was the way he, he was, he was, so for a very long time, he was good. <laughs> okay. But what he liked was order and perfection. He hated chaos. <laughs> I'm going to cause chaos. I'm going to cause chaos. Loki! Cut it out, Loki. And then so what happened? Unfortunately, Morgoth got to him. Boo! 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 Hooray! <laughs> ah! Stay out of this, Namor! Ah! Sick of you, Namor! Yes, Namor! Every time you cheer, we're going to punch you in the face! Hey! That's not nice! I want to be part of the show! No! You can only always ruin the show! Only I can have to interrupt that show. Yep. Sorry, Namor. You're not allowed in here. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Ah! <sighs> yep. I'm sorry, Humphrey, but Namor was not the imposter. Ah. So. So, next thing you know. <sighs> The sad news is, Sauron, okay, that's what I'm saying. Sauron made an alliance with Morgoth, and, and then he just went bad. So remember, what, what is it? Sauron was not evil. Why? Sauron was not evil. He. Okay. Remember. He was not evil. But. The Dark Lord got to him. And made him go evil. Oh. So. The short answer is. No. He wasn't evil. No. He liked order. He hated chaos. But I like chaos. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Oh, so. So, what happened? He just went bad. Oh, so Sauron just went bad. Because of Morgoth. Yeah, stupid Morgoth. Boo! Boo! So. So, why was Sauron called evil? Because he worked for Morgoth. So, <laughs> come on. There was one step movement called Thanos did nothing wrong. Oh, be quiet. Thanos did something wrong. He chomped me to death. Yeah, we saw you die in Infinity War. Really? He killed our father? He killed him? Yeah! Let's go find that jerk and beat him up! Wait, wait. Who killed our father? Thanos. An ugly space racer. Come on, guys, let's get him! Oh, hey, 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 hey! Come on now, I did nothing wrong. I be quiet, Thanos! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Murder! Humphrey! You can't say that! What? <laughs> so, Thanos, what did we learn today? Killing the father of the woman you like does not equal love. Good. <laughs> well, jeez, 
<laughs> Violin? I'm like, yay, Violin! Yeah. Okay. Now. There's an... Oh, look! I'm a Korra. And it says, why is Siren considered evil? Because here's another answer to the question of was Siren really bad? Well, Siren wouldn't consider himself bad. He's considering himself just doing what he was supposed to do. <clears throat> Bring order into the world. Well, so there's evil? Yeah, there are several degrees of evil. His biggest evil is wanting to bring order and efficiency to a world that had no order or deficiency. Really. And then, of course, though, are they boy? Yeah. But you know what they say about pride. What? Pride and roller skates are the same. Why? Because they both come before the fall. So, Sauron wanted order. Yeah. But the way he went about it went against God's ideas on how to bring order. Oh. So, what happened? Sauron wanted to control Middle Earth. That's why he made them rings. Ah, oh yeah. And there was that one part where on Torn Tuesday everybody talked about having a shirtless siren try and seduce Calibrim War. Oh god. See? You see? You see? <laughs> That's why I have problems trying to sleep at night. Really? 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 <sighs> really? But, uh, why would we want that? Yeah! Do we really want that? Do, I mean, do we really want a sympathetic Sauron? Sauron was never evil to begin with. <laughs> but he, 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 he went with, he hung out with somebody who went bad. Plain old B.A.D. I mean. I'm sorry. Look. There's always. There are several instances of evil. Philosophical evil. That's. So what is. Now the root of all evil. Is disrupting harmony. For selfish reasons. There. Yeah. So, there's that. Yep, so, there's that. Ah, so, how does that, so how does that happen? <laughs> Look, do you really want to know what made, so, he does bad things. So, so, you're on Reddit now? I'm looking at a question from Reddit called, What Makes Siren Evil? <sighs> Somebody said, Apart from the trickery of making them ring, I fail to see any reason why he may be considered evil. I mean, he raised an army, so did Gondor. He goes to war, so do the end. He, well, look. The thing is this. Siren did do some evil things. Joining, joining the the Middle Earth version of Satan. Oh, okay. Uh, he he took Finrod and twenty elves and found the werewolves. Oh, hey, yeah, werewolves are real. So are vampires. Don't at me. He's. Making the one rings. <laughs> Making all the rings. Corrupting, turning Numenor into a tyrannic empire. Ugh. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Oh, 
You really think that's bad? Let's keep going. <sighs> Declaring war on all the other nations, all in the name of world domination. Torture and war crimes. <sighs> really? So, so well, what's the matter? Uh, and so, mm -hmm. what happened? So he did. He went evil because of Morgoth. Yeah. Are there anything else? Yeah. <laughs> really? So, uh, what else do we have? Oh, wait. I'm going to the archives. The archives? Yep. Where Sauron did do some pretty awful things. Wait a minute. He did more awful things? Oh, yeah. <laughs> let me, let me look it up. Top 10 list? Oh, yeah. Because someone did some pretty awful things. Ooh, look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, can we do... Which one? Wait, let me find it first. Okay, while well, we're looking for that, somebody says... <sighs> what? What is it? We're going to talk about... Sauron, and how he compares to other bad guys. Okay. <sighs> it's time for... Okay. Now. <sighs> Look, the thing is this. What? What is it? When we talk about... Oh, okay. Sauron, and we're going to compare Sauron to Palpatine from Star Wars. Yeah. Now, what made Palpatine go evil? Oh, uh, yeah. What made Palpatine evil? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what made... So you're right. What made him go evil? Well, let's see. Ooh, here we go. He is... Con he kind of... Oh, here we are. He is compared, he liked the dark side. Yeah, he. Even by Sith standards, he was a monster. And the Sith, they're on the dark side. Do -do. The dark side. Mm -hmm. The dark side. Mm -hmm. The dark side. Oh, God. So you quit talking about that? Oh, there's a song called The Dark Side. So what happened? I mean, Palpatine's life sucked. So, he murdered his entire family. And, of course, though, Palpatine murdered his own master. <sighs> Jeez. He just, he just says, I'm just going to go kill everybody because it's fun. <laughs> ah, it's, it's worse than the Joker. I'm sorry. The Joker's crazy, okay? I mean, Sith are bad. But Palpatine, however, is super bad. Ugh. I mean, he was smart. He was powerful. He's terrifying, too. I mean, <laughs> he wants to mind control. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry about that. Papa Team was pretty bad. Yeah. But now, let's talk about what made Voldemort evil. Ugh. Yep. Okay, this one's a little more controversial. It. It. Evan. He was a little more. Now, he. Him being evil, that's a little more controversial. Why? 
Okay, one, they say he was conceived through rape. His mom literally raped his dad when she put a love potion on him. Ugh. Oh, we're not talking about that. And, and then, of course, Tom Riddle Sr. found out. And he said, I'm getting out of here. And so he found out and he ran away. I'm like, good. Get away from the woman who totally abused you. Yeah. Get away from that crazy woman. And then Merope died. And then Voldemort lived in lived in an orphanage. And he had to fight for himself. He learned because he grew up in an orphanage, he never learned how to trust people. He couldn't trust people. He didn't have any friends. And and when Dumbledore decided, hey, Voldemort, come with me to Diagon Alley. He's like, I don't need you. So he was more of a, he was independent, even from an early age. And of course, Voldemort came from Slytherin, and Slytherins are very ambitious. Yeah, I mean, couldn't you be a Slytherin? Nah, I'm a Hufflepuff. Oh. Hmm. Look, it would have been a whole lot easier for Voldemort and the rest of the world if his mom took care of him. And, oh, yeah, I'm like, shame on you. I feel to you, Marope! Ah! Why do you not want to? Ah! Why would you do that to him? I feel to you! Ah! I will not defend you! Ah! Okay. Oh, another reason why it's like the family was messed up. Oh, the family was messed up. Oh, uh, yeah. Look, we all know Joffrey was messed up because, because Cersei hooked up with her brother. Oh, God. Can we not talk about that, please? Ugh, I don't want to hear about it. Sorry, Joffrey, but uh, that's how it is. Ugh. Oh, kill me now, somebody, please. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm tired of this. <sighs> but don't worry. In every story Tara writes, you will inevitably get revenge on both your parents. Or possibly Jamie. <laughs> yeah, I can't stand my Uncle Jamie. Blah. Oh, family tree. He, his family, <laughs> mom's family is messed up. They're racist, they're insane, and they like dark magic. Dad's family is no better because they're arrogant, classes. It's snobby. Had he grown up with either one, he would have been. Wait, so you're saying had Voldemort grew up with either one of his families, he would have been just like them? Yep. Oh, God. Oh, kill me now. Third, he lived in World War... He lived in an or orphanage. It was World War II. Life sucks. And and then... He, he, Voldemort probably learned the names of everybody who came in that orphanage. He was lonely. Yeah. He found out who his parents were. Uh -huh. His dad didn't want to find them because he didn't want to be reminded of what had happened to him. His mom died. And he's like, he didn't, he was scared of death and he hated muggles. Jeez. Wow. No. Now that is extremely controversial. Thank you, Tiara. And uh, of course, though, he, before he graduated school, he killed four people and created a horror crooks. Ugh, what happened? No, you know why? Had somebody sat him down and poked and poked into his brains, he would have turned out better. Hey, I know. I have an idea. Let's do Back to the Future. You and me. We get together. We get to Baltimore. And we fix them. Wait, wait, Joffrey. If we do that, then we have to go, then we have to go back. And then next thing you know, <laughs> we're going to be hearing this. 
somebody's going to come up and say, guys, guys, uh, wait, is it, and you're like, whoa, 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 do I turn out to be a complete jerk when I grow up? It's like, oh, no, 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 you turn out okay, but it's your kids. Uh-oh. And then next thing you know, if the story doesn't end with Doc saying, where are we going? We don't need rules. What's the point? So maybe we should teach him humility. Yeah. And then go after his mess up families and give him the old zappity zap zap. Yay. So how sad. Eh. So they had, they, 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 it, it was hard. So, what is it? <laughs> so, now we know why the uh, Voldemort was able. Okay. But, and then we look at this. Sauron, now we know why Sauron was evil. Because he was corrupted by Morgoth. Ugh, I know. Bow. What a travesty. Bow. Oh, wait. I found out what I was looking for. And it was. Oh, unfortunately, there are more, 10 more bad things that Sauron did that never took place in the books. Oh, oh. number 10. He ran on top. But the men of Tarma and shouted, la la la! Ugh. Ugh, that's bad. Ugh. How despicable. He jokingly told Calabrimbo to add 40% zinc to his rings and ruined the first batch. Ah! Ah! Why would he do that? Why would he do that? Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Why? I know! <laughs> Number eight. He watered the white tree. If you know what that means. Oh god! Jeez! No respect! Mm -mm. Hashtag no respect! For the yeah, respect the white tree, losers! <laughs> respect it! Oh! <clears throat> he, number seven, he made endlessly tiresome jokes about the crack of doom. Boo! Ah, uh, I, I, I'm tired of hearing about that. And then number six, <laughs> he wrote Aragorn loves Mrs. Frobisher in every copy of Return to King at school library. Boo! Wait, what the heck is Mrs. Frobisher? Okay. I'm looking it up now. <sighs> oh, oh, oh my goodness. That is a fictional character. Oh, 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 where is that? Oh, th 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 that's not even righteous. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Arwen would kill him if she found out. Number five, <laughs> made up some very saucy lyrics for the music of the Ainor. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was very naughty. Ooh, I would do something like that. No, Loki. Can I just, I wish I could write some naughty lyrics for your theme song. No, you will not. <clears throat> Number four. And this is very sad. Started some nasty rumors about Sam and Frodo's sexual relationship that far outlasted his downfall. Oh! Ooh. How disgusting! Yeah, gross, man. Ugh. You're gross, man. That is disgusting. Ah! Why would he do that? Come on. Sam married Rose, okay? Jeez. Whew. Oh. And number three, 
Catholic and 40 nurses trying to do with vandals. <laughs> yeah, that's not naughty. That's just rude. Yes, rude. <laughs> Number two. Produced the animated Lord of the Rings movies during the 70s. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm sorry, okay? Lord of the Rings movies. Animated. Yeah. That's just painful. Yeah. That movie is so painful. Ah, uh, that's just bad. Yeah. I mean, who wants to watch that? crappy movie anyway yeah oh and that last thing though there was one more thing that Sauron did that we never learned about because it was never in the books what is it gave Isildur the finger literally oh 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 my god really he gave Isildur the Finger! Ah! Jeez! Why would someone be that evil? Ah! Yeah! Man, what is wrong with that guy? Uh. <sighs> well, I'm like, uh. Ah! Ah! Come on. That is bad. Ah, uh, man, everything he did made him evil. Yeah. But animated Lord of the Rings movies in the 70s, that's kind of putting it mildly. Yeah, but number four, though, that's just mean. Number six is pretty mean. Oh, huh. number eight, no respect for the white tree. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to talk about, we definitely do not talk about number 10, because that's just awful. Ah, sorry. Yeah, but there's one more bad guy we need to talk about, that's Thanos. Ugh, I don't like him. Don't worry, we beat him up, Dad. Yeah, he won't bother you ever again. Okay. Thanks, guys. Hmm. Now, let's talk about why did Thanos, why is he bad? Or was he evil or misguided? Okay, that's the next part. Okay. According to the website Quora, we ask ourselves this question. Here's an answer. It, Thanos was born on Titan. The planet was on the brink of a tipping point. And people were suffering. People were dying. Thanos says, why don't you kill off half the population? And then, of course, that is a very bad idea. I mean, that that's just, well, kill off half the population? That's the dumbest idea you ever heard of. Yeah, that's like him coming on Earth and saying, oh, you don't scare this coronavirus? Why don't you murder half the population of earth let the rest survive and then of course and then of course they, 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 they look at it they're like they, they called him a monster you don't kill off half the population that's not going to save humanity that just makes things worse and so what do you do uh, well the planet titan eventually died so Thanos, however, decided I'm going to kill off half the population of every planet in the universe. So guess what? He went around killing people. <laughs> he didn't care if you're a man or a woman. He didn't care if you were old or young or disabled or rich or poor. He killed you. Th th there is no... You can't you can't reason with someone like that. Yeah, you can't reason with someone like that. <laughs> he thinks gods have no mercy. He wants to be better than God. But gods do not do mass genocide. I mean, even the Christian God, the God that Christians believe in, God 
does not like that kind of thing. God doesn't want people going around murdering other people in the name of I'm going to save humanity. You see? Really? Yes. And then Thanos gets his hands on infinity stones and uses them to completely kill off half the population uh, of every of everyone in the entire galaxy. And you mean the galaxy? Yeah. He murdered off everyone in the universe. And then of course what happened? He lived, lost everything, and he destroys it. But then he's like, I'm going to make sure this happened. He could have reincarnated Gomorrah and started again. He could have revived it, started again. Then he decided, I'm going to kill everybody. I mean, Thanos could have had, look, Thanos literally had the power of all the gods in his hand. He could have brought Gomorrah back. He could have revived his home planet. And, and, and helped people. He could have doubled the resources. Yeah. But no. He chose to kill people. Boo. 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 Oh. Hello everyone. Deadpool here. And, ow. Deadpool. Ow. 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 Yeah. Get out of here Deadpool. Oh, but come on now. Ow. <sighs> Jeez. Would this guy never stop? <sighs> Okay, where were we before we were so rudely interrupted? <laughs> Thanos thing. <laughs> yeah, he had the power to do good. But no, he chose it to he chose to use his power for evil. Boo. And of course now it's even worse in the comics because he had a thing for death. Ugh, gross. <laughs> I would never hang out with someone like him. Uh, yeah. Uh, he thinks death will be impressed. But then he said, but, but he just wanted to be with death. That's disgusting. Uh, please. I, I was never even that into him, okay? Ugh. That guy is not even going to take a hint. Yeah. Bow! What a travesty! Bow! I mean, I mean, look at this. Oh, what's the matter? Ugh. Ah. Uh, don't. I mean, so. Now we just have to ask ourselves another question. What is it? Was he evil or was he misguided? I'm pretty sure he was more misguided than evil. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, look, we work, and and then of course, look, the leaders of the universe—they're trying to figure out how do we. Look, had Thanos came to Earth and said, why don't you kill off half the population? We would have said, no, we wouldn't do that. And then he said, but look, the real thing is we need sustainable development. We don't need, okay, abstinence or artificial population control are bad, but war is just awful. <laughs> Thanos wanted to take the easy way out. But he is very misguided. Yeah. It would take... Look, I'm sorry. If Thanos killed off half the population of Earth, it would take... It would take at least three generations to recoup that loss. Ugh. So... Look, if you don't have the infinity gauntlet, what would you just, I don't know, double all the resources? Then there would be no need to kill off half the population. Yeah, 
That's a smart idea. Thanos did bad things, though. I mean, somebody else says he's just evil. I mean, look. Here's another way to understand your bad guys. Every villain is a hero in his own mind. Oh my. Is that so? Ugh. Look. Every, even the most evil person in the world is... He thinks he's a hero. Thanos is not the hero. He tortured me. And he didn't just torture me. He tortured Nebula by replacing her human parts with robot parts. Yeah, and not only that, he threw Gamora off a cliff just to get a stone. He kills half the universe with a snap of his fingers. Yeah, like poor little Spider-Man who did want to go. That's not misguided. That's just evil. Wow, so we're seeing both sides of the argument. Look, Look, every villain is a hero in their own mind. But the only villain who did win in the end was Killmonger. Yeah, but in Black Panther, Killmonger won in the end. Why? Because he said, we're going to, how's about we go and give weapons to all those who feel like they're oppressed and then they can kill their oppressors. But that's not the way to go either because the oppressors could just get bigger weapons and then it would be an endless war and, and we can't afford that yeah but Nakia's way of dealing with the problem is a whole lot better look even though some of the worst human beings in the world saw themselves as the heroes the things that they did made them evil. Yeah. Or then some someone once said that he is misguided. He thinks he's helping the universe by killing off half the population. But he's evil. He killed dwarves. He tried to kill he tried to kill Thor. Even Loki's like, okay, stop, stop, stop. Really? You're yeah, right. I did give him the Tesseract. I give up the Tesseract just to keep Thor alive. Yeah, and how does he thank you? By, by choking the life out of you. Ugh. But then everybody thinks that Thanos did nothing wrong. Yeah, Thanos did not do nothing wrong. <laughs> Thanos went evil. He's evil? Yeah, he's evil. <sighs> and now, let's go back to Sauron. Sauron is evil. Because he... Because he was corrupted by Morgoth. Yeah. Which is sad because at the end, Sauron loses. To a hobbit. <laughs> and that's the... And that's the next part of the series okay and that answers that so does that answer that question yep yes it does wait <laughs> there's still some more things we need to talk about <sighs> wow you clocked in well, look that little chat about Sauron and all the other bad guys clock led us into 47 minutes hee 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 <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't include me. Really? How about we do this? <sighs> what? Well, what are you doing? <sighs> Is Loki truly evil? <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Before we go any further, let's talk about you. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, you want us to talk about you. But, okay. Was Loki really evil? Okay, ooh, good old Cora tells us this. First of all, they said that your character is misunderstood. 
Ooh. I mean, you're not bad. Uh, of course Loki isn't. Yeah, Loki is not the bad guy. He just likes to be naughty. <laughs> really? Well, it is true. Loki isn't bad. He just loves to be naughty. Of course I like being naughty. <laughs> ah, you always like being naughty. Well, of course I like being naughty. I'm a naughty boy. <laughs> ah, wait a minute. Look, now, before we go any further, let's say this. You were... The second child. Ugh. I mean, you didn't really mean to be evil. You were just jealous of Thor. That's right. I wanted to be great. When I found out that I had been lied to, oh, oh, I wanted so much to destroy everyone who ever hurt me. Jeez. <sighs> but... You are always the immature mischievous son. But don't worry. I feel so bad for Loki. We all feel bad for Loki. Well, don't worry. Of course, the redemption part happened. It first happened in Thor The Dark World and continued all the way through Thor Ragnarok. <clears throat> I mean... Loki never, he didn't think that putting his dad on earth and causing him to die would happen. I mean, come on. I'm not a witch. But then he finally, and then of course, I finally got the approval that I needed so much from that idiotic Odin. At least though, hey. Getting that approval made you better. People like, yeah, people liked you because you were willing to, to give up your life. <laughs> you were willing to give up your life for others. Well, there was still that thing with you and Grandmaster, but the less we talk about that, the better. So, basically. Loki's not bad. He just loves to be naughty. I mean, even in Norse mythology, Loki wasn't bad. He likes, he just loves to be naughty. Until Bowder. Oh, the less we talk about Bowder, the better. Hey, what's up, Loki? How you doing? Oh, go away, Bowder. Go away. Go away? Oh, come on now. <laughs> Why can't I hang out with you? Because this is my time. Oh, and these adorable little toys. <sighs> Loki, calm down. Yeah, Loki, chill. Okay, chill, man. Chill. I mean, you only did one dumb thing. When because about her. Okay, fine. So I did something stupid. Who cares? <laughs> I mean, it was fun. It was, look, it's all fun and games. <laughs> I mean, look, it's all fun and games until Loki. <laughs> yeah, it's all fun and games until Loki. I do something naughty. Hey, look! They even have a, they even have a front cover with you on it. What am I doing? Oh, great! Thor, bleh! And oh, look! There's even Doctor Strange. Oh, really? And look, <laughs> you are a naughty. Oh my! Look at that! 
Oh, Avengers. Yeah. Oh, that's Iron Man, the Hulk, and Thor. And there's me. Hmm. Emma, you're just being evil. Yeah, but unfortunately, you also have dad issues. <sighs> and not only that. <clears throat> oh, and there you go, complaining to her. <sighs> oh. There you go, complaining to your own kid. But hey, I just wanted to be on that freaking throne. Ugh. And now... Yeah, you can be very naughty. All it is is, look, now, you're not bad. You just like being naughty. Ugh, please. I do not like being naughty. You're always naughty. Hee 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 hee. Ah! <sighs> Look, you're, you can be evil and annoying. Ugh. Look, I always take my own side. So there, bleh. Okay. Now, as we all promised, we're going to talk WandaVision. We interrupt this program to bring you some freaking news. Oh, come on. Okay. Spoilers for all those who have not seen episode 4, because if you did not watch episode 4 of WandaVision, why are you even here? Ooh, I'm going to spoil the movie for you anyway. <laughs> we first see grown Monica Rambo waking up in her mom's hospital room. But mom's not there. Because it was public. And then that's when everybody came back. Thank you, Hulk! Yay, Hulk! Yeah, but then we find out that Monica's mom died. Aww. But hey, now, you gotta, we gotta wonder what happened to Maria and Monica after the events of Captain Marvel, the movie. <laughs> Maria had an encounter with Scrolls, and that encounter led her to... <laughs> To do what? To build sword. She built sword. And then, of course, Monica was supposed to take over from her mom. Yep. And then, of course, we we get a brand new Alexander Pierce. And another guy. But I do not like Alexander Pierce. Oh, don't worry. Nick Fury kills him and, follow, and Captain America of the Winter Soldier. Oh, right. He was Hydra. Yeah. And of course, though, we could have AIM jump into the fray. Yeah. Your group is called AIM, but you can't shoot that well. <laughs> yeah. You shoot for the stars, and you always miss. Okay. Yeah. Got And so, Monica Goes back to her day job. Working for S.W.O.R.D. <laughs> and then. And then of course. We have Jimmy Woo. Who finally mastered that card trick. That he'd been asking Scott. Since Ant-Man and the Wasp. And then. And then what? We also throw in Darcy Lewis. Who, grad who finally graduated from college. Wait, she graduated during the snapping. Well, what happened? Darcy survived the snap, graduated from college, and got a doctorate degree. Yay! Plus, she ain't got no coffee. Boo! Get this woman a coffee. There! And now, they all need to meet. Yep, and at this point, we get them all to meet. One bad move, however. One wrong move, and Monica wakes up in Westview. And she and Wanda meet. Yeah. And then they finally meet. In the second episode. Where Dotty says the devil's in the details. But then Agnes is like, that's not where he is. Uh-oh. 
Could Dottie be the bad guy in disguise? Or is it Agnes's husband, Ralph? Hmm. I don't know. The results are the same. So, <laughs> Darcy makes some very astute observations. And, and then next thing you know, she brings in some old TVs. And it was cosmic energy left over from the Big Bang that creates static. The static that we see. Right, so we get leftovers from the Big Bang that makes static that comes into our TVs. Yep. And then, the fun part is this. What? What is it? They're watching the show. They come up with fan theories. They find out that a lot of the characters on the show were missing residents of Westview. Except for Aggie. <laughs> Wait, you mean Aggie? Agnes, who we are very sure is Agatha Harkness, a witch who ends up being Wanda's mentor in the comics. So, yeah, they're setting it up. Yeah, we got the setup. And now we get in the payoff in episodes five and six. Yay! So what happened? Of course, it's all fun and games until Monica opened her mouth and mentioned Ultron. <sighs> why, Monica? Why? And then Wanda is like, she, she doesn't want to talk about Ultron. Yeah, Ultron killed her brother. Yeah, Ultron technically killed her brother, so there you go. Wanda gives Monica the boot. <laughs> Literally. And Monica literally broke the fourth wall and says that Wanda was doing all the controlling. Because earlier, Jimmy was trying to call Wanda on the radio saying, Wanda, Wanda, who's doing this to you, Wanda? I mean, it wasn't all Wanda, though. I mean, Wanda's doing a lot of the work, but somebody's pulling the strings. But the question is, who's pulling the strings? Is it Agatha Harkness, a.k.a. Agnes? Is it Mephisto? Or is it somewhere far, far worse? Yeah. Of course, so now Wanda had her kids. Yeah. I mean, does this mean we get Evan Peters as a grown-up speed? I'm pretty sure we're going to get a grown speed by the end of this. And then, of course, Aaron Taylor Johnson will be like Uncle Jesse. <laughs> exactly. That's my head cannon. So, head cannon, Evan Peters will be speed. And because Wiccan and Speed are featured in the Young Avengers, so they're being set up. Aaron Taylor Johnson might make a return. <laughs> who knows but then there was one really weird thing that we saw in WandaVision and that was a dead vision which we will not talk about because that is terrifying mm -hmm. ooh a dead vision <laughs> ew ah. okay let's not talk about dead visions okay that's terrifying. Yeah. Blast you, Thanos. You count for Ah! Oh. Yeah, that too. Ugh. Oh. And so, we're talking WandaVision. Yep. Episodes 5 and 6 are coming out tomorrow. Yay! <sighs> but unfortunately... We're going to have to close out our nerd culture on a sad note. Aww. Well, Dustin Diamond, who played Screech on the popular show Saved by the Bell, died of small cell lung cancer. Ugh. Ah, what a tragedy. He was only 44. 
I know. Too young, man. Too young. I mean, look, it was already bad enough. 2020 was bad. But do we really need more sad things that happened in 2021? <sighs> All I know is that it's going to get worse before it gets better. Bow. I hate when things like that happen. Ah, yeah. What? But, but, the, the, look, it, it, it's not, it's not as bad as you think. I mean, I'm sorry. It, it, it's sad. Yeah, sad. Heartbreaking, sad, and uh, things we don't need to deal with. But let's not, let's not have it all be full of sads. Because the Super Bowl is happening this weekend. Yay! <sighs> and besides, it's not about the team. It's about the commercials. And I hope we get to watch a lot of Marvel commercials. And if you don't watch the commercial for my show and get excited for my show, you're going to pay. Okay! And there's that. Okay, everybody. Well, it I think it's about time for us to wrap this thing on up. Oh, great. Wrap up the show. Yep, time to wrap up the show. Because I got some heavy editing to do. Yay! But let's reiterate what we learned today. Nothing is truly evil in the beginning. Yeah. Pride and greed come before the fall. Killmongers are made, not born. Yeah. And Loki's not bad. He just loves to be naughty. Yeah. And uh, of course, Voldemort, however, probably would have benefited with a real family. Had Voldemort gotten a family, he wouldn't need to be evil. Yeah. He was. Yeah, some people are a product of their environments. And everyone is a hero in their own mind, whether others see it as true or not. Yeah, that's what we learned today. <sighs> but I'm pretty sure that. That, that what? That come what may. Wait, we're still going to continue to debate about is Siren evil? <sighs> what man could evil? Yeah, and then we compared Siren to other evil characters like Palpatine, Voldemort, and Thanos. And Killmonger. <laughs> we even spoke about Killmonger. Well, the Joker isn't exactly evil though. He's just messed up. Yeah, so messed up. Ah. <sighs> Why so serious? Whoopee! <laughs> and then, of course, knowing that Christian Bale is going to be in Thor, Love and Thunder. Ooh. Great. <laughs> Look, if they do not do a parody of the bailouts, I'm not watching Thor, Love and Thunder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm just kidding, but they should do a parody of the bailout. <laughs> hey, 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 you're a nice god. You're a nice god. Oh, really? Oh, and then, of course, at the end, at the end of Thor, Love, and Thunder, we need to hear these words. Seriously, you and me, Taika Waititi, uh, we are done professionally. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's just like the the, the Christian bailout. Yep, and then I did a per I did the Percy Jackson version of it in a fan fiction. Oh yeah, we should do we should do a parody of that. Yeah, and then of course this is why we never got the third Percy Jackson movie. <laughs> why? Because Percy Jackson literally bailed out.
And then, of course, of course, though, yeah, we got to keep it clean, though, for the kids. But it's hilarious to see him react <laughs> to, yeah, how bad things were. Yeah, so, nobody is truly evil in their own mind. But it's those, <laughs> but other people who see your deeds and they think, and they know deep down your deeds are bad. That must make you evil. Yeah. And remember. Not even the devil was evil. He only got that way because of pride. Yeah. And pride comes before the fall. Okay, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to this podcast. We're glad you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this extra long podcast, then make sure to leave a comment. And a like on this video, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, ding dong, so you'll know when we do another podcast. Now, I own that show, and the show is over, so meow. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Oh, and if you don't watch my show when it comes out, I will mess up your studios. <laughs> Loki! Me. <laughs>